Today I'm going to talk about custom cable types for your site analyzer. The site analyzer contains a list of cable types that will set the values for velocity of propagation and cable loss automatically when selected. If your cable is not in the list, the values can be entered manually. The cable list entry then becomes custom when manually entering a value for velocity of propagation and or cable loss. Keep in mind, changing the cable type or the velocity of propagation will reset the distance scale to the maximum possible distance. Therefore, always set the cable type before setting the distance scale. To enter a custom cable type, you'd want to press the following keys on the site analyzer. The first key would be mode, followed by fault location. Then you want to go into the config menu and select cable type. We already have a velocity set down here along with a cable loss. Using the right and left arrow keys we can go through all of these fields. Pressing the down arrow key comes up with a list and if I select one of them it gives me the cable that I've selected and also the velocity of propagation and the cable loss. If I want to set a custom value I would merely put in my velocity of propagation followed by the enter key and then I'd want to come over here and enter my loss followed by the enter key. Note that my cable list has changed to custom. Selecting, pressing the escape key backs me out to my previous menu. One other thing to keep in mind is cable manufacturers generally give their loss values in dB per 100 feet. The site analyzer entry requires dB per foot so the value on the specification sheet may need to be divided by 100 before entering into the site analyzer.